Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your iMedia TV news update. I'm your host, Evan on iMedia TV, and today from the AP by Amanda Seats. Dozens of pregnant women, some bleeding or in labor, being turned away from ERs despite federal law. This is, by the way, all in states where abortion has been restricted or made legal. Bleeding and in pain, Leah Thurman did not know her doomed pregnancy could kill her. The emergency room doctors at Ascension Sent in Williamson in Texas sent and handed her a pamphlet on miscarriage and told her to let nature take its course before discharging her without treatment for her ectopic pregnancy. So, uh, for everybody listening, I'm going to explain what an eptopic pregnancy is. An eptopic pregnancy is a is a fertilized egg in the tube between the um uh in the tube between uh the part of the uter of of the woman's uterus that holds all of the eggs and generates eggs and the part of the uterus that hold, that that actually holds and creates a baby. When an egg, a fertilized egg, is in that tubular part, what will basically happen is, is, is that, um, first of all, it's not a, it, it, it is, it is a mass of cells. It is more akin to a cancer than an actual child because it is not in the proper environment for a baby to be cultivated, and it is in the tube that that, that, that is connected to, um, from the jump that uh, egg fertilized egg. While it grows, it's not going to grow into like an actual baby. It's going to. It doesn't have the. It doesn't have the mechanical bath. It doesn't have the support system of the main chamber. Therefore, there's it. it, it, it fr from the moment of fertilization, the once it enters that tube, it's done for. It cannot be saved. So, but the reason why it can it to a cancer is because it just will continue to grow because that is what the fucking thing is designed to do. It is akin to a malignant tumor. And so what happens is, is that as that grows, it doesn't have a lot of wiggle room. If it grows, you know, you only have like a certain amount of time to sort of get rid of that before it ruptures the fallopian tube that it's in, causing the wo a woman to, you know, basically, you know, depending on the level of damage, either become partially or entirely sterile. And that's if they survive. If, if it goes untreated, unfounded, routinely... Women with ectopic pregnancies risk death. So, you know, having an ectopic pregnancy, not screening for that and not checking for that, like there, there is zero chance. Like the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that the egg that is fertilized there is not alive. It will never be alive. And, and not doing anything about an ectopic pregnancy is effectively sentencing a woman to death. So now that we have that out of the way, we can finish the rest of this. When the 25-year-old returned three days later, still bleeding, doctors agreed to give her an injection intended to end the pregnancy, but it was too late. The fertilized egg growing on Thuman's fallopian tube would rupture it, destroying part of her reproductive system. What the fuck did I say? According to a complaint Thurman in the Center for Reproductive Rights filed last week against the asking the government to investigate whether the hospital violated the federal law when staff failed to treat her initially, I was left to fail, Thurman said. There was nothing short of being misled. Even as the Biden administration publicly warned hospitals to treat pregnant patients in emergencies, facilities continue to violate the federal law. Yeah, because the government's not enforcing it. A, a law is just words on paper unless there's enforcement. The issue became a focus for the administration following reports of women being improperly treated in emergency rooms after the Supreme Court's decision to overturn the constitutional right to abortion more than two years ago. More than 100 pregnant women in medical duress sought help from emergency rooms, were turned away, or negligently treated since 2002, the AP analysis of federal hospital investigation output said. So let's please be so fucking for real. Like, like... The, it is, the, the, this, the, the, people are weird, specifically conservatives and people that want to, you know, ban abortions in all cases. You cannot ban abortions in all cases because an abortion isn't just terminating a viable pregnancy. It's also getting, it is also getting rid of an ectopic pregnancy that will inevitably kill the person in charge of it. You people have no idea what you're talking about. I am saying this in the most derogatory sense I can say. You are, you are, you, you do not care about people's health. 
you just want to feel like you're winning. And it's pathetic. You are pathetic weirdos. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't even have any input here. I said everything I needed to when describing what an ectopic pregnancy is and the fact that these laws are not carving out exceptions to check for that. You Christian nationalists are fucking stupid. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. You are fucking so fucking weird. Please touch grass. No woman is ever going to want to fuck you if you behave this way, you fucking weirdos. And you fucking pick me. Jesus H. Christ. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to... You want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.